In this video, we're going to show you how to send a notification to your students, which is especially useful in those weeks before you have access to your class roster through Canvas. So if you go to your college faculty dashboard and to your schedule, you can go back into your class roster. If you scroll down to the bottom of your class roster, you'll see an option to notify selected students. So if you wanted to just reach out to a few students, you could select them and then press notify selected or notify all students. If you click notify all students, it'll start up an email for you. Note in this particular email, my default email is my Gmail account which is not what I want. So I'm going to show you how to change your default email if it's coming up as something other than your STCCD email at the end of this video. Um, I could change who it's going to if I wanted to. Change my subject. Um, that's not welcome. Welcome. And then I could send an email out to my entire class, a notification out to my entire class. Um, as we've seen in our emails, we can't add attachments at this time. So if you wanted to send an attachment or use hyperlinks or something that's not just plain text, you would need to take this BCC line with all your students' email addresses and put this into your Outlook. For those of you who tried this, Outlook wants email addresses separated by semicolons instead of commas. So an easy way to work around this is to open up Word, bring in your email list. Oh God, that's a terrible view. And then you can just do a control F for find. And instead of looking, you're going to look for commas. And then you're going to replace them. So find commas and replace with semicolons. And you can just do replace all. And it'll tell you how many replacements are made. That's fine. Um, and now you have an email list that's ready to go into Outlook. Make sure if you're putting this into your Outlook that you're using the BCC line so that your students can't see each other's email addresses. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to change your email address if you don't want a personal email address in there. So if you go to Faculty Information and Personal Information, it'll bring up your address. Katie, I assume, will blur this for me. And then <laughs> it'll bring up your email addresses. So it has your SDCCD email. You cannot select it as your preferred, and you cannot delete this other email. So the easiest thing to do is to just replace that email that you don't want students seeing with your STCCD email and pressing Save. Now, if you send a notification through my STCCD, your students will see it coming from and going to your STCCD email. So to test that, let's go back to my schedule. Um, this is the easiest way that I can find to do that. And I'll click back on that class that I was going to send an email to. And now if I go to notify all students, it now says kspoon at stccd.edu. You can also use this, by the way, to contact your students on your wait list. I have a wait list in this class, so we can look at that one. If you want to reach out before the semester starts and let them know what your waitlist policy is, if you change your enrollment status to waiting, it'll show you your waitlisted students and then you can notify them one at a time or notify all students. So I happen to have spaces in this class, so I notified those students with their ad codes or permission numbers uh, before class started.